Most of the energy harvested from organic molecules during glycolysis and the citric acid cycle is stored in NADH and FADH2. These molecules give up their high-energy electrons in the third phase of cellular respiration, oxidative phosphorylation, where most of the cell's ATP fuel is produced. The electron transport chain is an array of molecules, mostly proteins, built into the inner membrane of the mitochondria. NADH gives up its high-energy electrons to the first complex in the electron transport chain. The electrons move from one member of the chain to the next, giving up their energy as they are pulled from NADH toward highly electronegative oxygen. The energy given up by the flow of electrons is used to pump hydrogen ions from the mitochondrial matrix into the intermembrane space. Oxygen captures the electrons in the very last step in electron transport. The last complex adds a pair of electrons to an oxygen atom and two hydrogen ions, forming water. The electron transport chain has used the energy of moving electrons to pump hydrogen ions into the intermembrane space. This buildup of hydrogen ions, like water behind a dam, stores the potential energy that was originally in the bonds of glucose molecules. The backed up hydrogen ions give up their energy when they diffuse through a special protein in the membrane called ATP synthase. As hydrogen ions flow down their concentration gradient, ATP synthase captures their energy to make ATP. This mode of ATP production is called oxidative phosphorylation because it is powered by the transfer of electrons to oxygen. Under normal conditions, almost all the ATP produced in the process of cellular respiration is manufactured by electron transport and oxidative phosphorylation, about 34 ATPs for every glucose consumed. This illustration summarizes cellular respiration. Glycolysis and the citric acid cycle produce a small amount of ATP via substrate-level phosphorylation, but most of the cell's ATP is made via oxidative phosphorylation. When NADH and FADH2 produced in glycolysis and the citric acid cycle give up to oxygen the electrons obtained from organic molecules.